So we all shop for gaming monitors quite often. It's, it's one of the biggest, most important pieces of gear within our setup, right? W what are some of the things where we look for in gaming monitor? Price, some specs, but the one most important thing I truly think, and I know we all look at it, but do you look at it enough for your situation? And that's talking about the size of your monitor. Yeah, size does matter no matter what anybody tells you. And you know what? Honestly, I think that one of the safest sizes, let's get this guy out here, 27 inch, 4040p, 144 hertz. Really safe spot here, but better yet, why don't we go ahead and go with a big old mammoth like this right here. Can you even see me, guys? All right, I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna scooch it over there as it hits me right in the face. This mammoth 32 inch curved monitor right here. This thing is huge. You know what? Forget all of those right there and let's go with this nice beast right here. A 32 inch, I, I definitely can't get this thing in the frame. A 32 inch ultra wide, Whew, this thing is awesome. So like I talked about, budget, right? Every single monitor we just looked at right there starts around 300 bucks and heck goes up to a thousand. We might as well just be better off buying one of these 60 hertz 24 inch monitors, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Ouch. All right, so let's go on and talk about 27 inch monitor right here. We have an LG 1440p, 144 hertz, nano IPS, yada, yada, yada. Again, I'm not here for specs, we're talking about size. 27 inch is seriously probably the best comfort zone, especially at 1440p. 1080p, you're kind of reaching your peak height right there, or your peak size, you know what I mean? Now, for me, I'm kind of used to bigger monitors like we're about to check out, and this does feel a little distant. I mean, put it on a monitor arm, pull it closer to you, and you're gonna be right up into it. And I think this is great for competitive games. You're playing Valorant, Fortnite, Halo, Call of Duty, stuff like that. This is a great platform. It's also good for some immersion, some story games and stuff like that. But again, definitely beneficial for FPS games. I feel like you get really zoned in. You don't have to pan your head at all. You're not looking up and down or anything. You're right here. You're zoned into your action. And I feel like that does give you a slight competitive edge, again, because you're not really panning your screen. And on top of that, everything's butter stinking smooth. So let's go on and talk about 32 inch monitors. This thing is massive. As you can see, I had to scroll it up, scan it up just to get on there to turn off my speakers, right? This thing is huge and it's not just huge all the way around, it's huge, huge, huge up and down. Here we go, a little tape measure. Let me just see from top to bottom, you're looking at 17 inches. Obviously, right monitors are gonna measure this way. But looking at it this way, you're right at 17 and a quarter right there, right? So playing a competitive game, talking about like Halo, Call of Duty, Valorant, whatever, something like that, right? You might have saw when I was playing, like it's, you kind of pan up and down. Now it's mild, don't catch me as like some crazy person, like what are you talking about? But again, I just catch myself panning up and down. Now, if you're playing a story game with say Halo campaign or something like that, this is fantastic. It's, it's a great experience, especially with it being curved. Now backtrack and go to 27 or 24 inch right there. Yo, do not mess with curved. I made a video talking about I hate curved monitors and that's kind of summing it up right there. When you're getting the smaller monitors, 24 to 27, that curves crazy. But when you get into 27 or a 32 or even the other monitor we're about to talk about, the curve is just so fun, it's immersive, it's full, the bigger screen right here, it's in your face, you feel like you're within the game. So 32 inch monitor here, I give it a pro and a con, right? Nah, it's not really good for competitive FPS games, but man, it's a blast for story games and maybe if you just casually play some FPS games and you wanna feel like you're more immersed into the game, that's what you're gonna get right here with a nice big 32 inch. Okay, so 32 inch ultra wide monitors. Just straight to the point, this is my main. I've been using this for so long. Some of you might have watched one of my recent LG, not recent, 
older LT videos, right? It was a ultra wide right there. I stink and loved by it. I swore by it. I ended up cutting it in half. Why'd I end up cutting it in half? Well, because I kind of noticed and felt the same feeling that I had with the 32 inch we just talked about. I kind of felt myself panning back and forth a little bit when I played Call of Duty. Call of Duty being a very fast paced game, right? So I'm all over the place. I'm in the action. I'm not hanging back camping. So I felt myself being like that a little bit, right? So again, I moved back to the LG 27 inch, but I actually went back to back and forth so many times, right? To the BenQ ultra wide right here at 1440p, 144 hertz and everything, IPS. It's just a gem. And, and why I talk about that, let's think about the 32 and 32 inch which I just talked about. It's like 17 and a quarter, something like that, right? When we look at the length of this, now I'm doing the entire length, even down here by this little uh, sensor deal, not just the screen. We're at 15 inches, pretty much right on the money. Now, if you talk about screen length, you're at about 13, 13 and a half, give or take right there. Now, of course, when you go wide, you're at 32 inches wide, right? So again, it's a big boy, but the majority of your action is always right here in the front. You're not panning up and down, right? It's pretty much right in front of you. Now, on the other side, like if you're playing Fortnite or something, me personally, I feel like, well, number one, it's not right in front of my face. It's back there. I feel like I'm just getting a little bit more because I'm able to little pan my horizons right there if you catch my drift. Now, playing a fast-paced game like Call of Duty, I do kind of feel that slight pan to the sides. It's mild, but I do notice it. Playing Halo, I don't notice it at all because, again, it's a little bit slower-paced game. And honestly, why a 32-inch ultra-wide is my main because I truly feel like it's the best of both worlds, right? I can play high-end competitive with this monitor. And I also get immersed into a good story game, right? And it does both of them fantastic. It really does. Now, if I'm trying to go pro, which I'm not, I think I would want that smaller monitor right in front of my face. I wouldn't want to really do any panning. But for my situation where I do like playing competitive, I do like winning. I like to play at a higher level on Call of Duty and Halo, right? But I do play a lot of story games. Right now, I'm getting back into Red Dead, you know what I mean? But I love playing stuff like that. And I feel like, again, you got the complete package here. You're getting that immersion and you're getting that competitive edge. It's just, again, this is the perfect size, I believe. But even other than that, when you get into size, the cost, going back into the beginning where I told you this isn't gonna be about specs, this is just about size, but when you get into size and you start talking 144 hertz, you start talking 1440p, or you go into 4K, or whatever, IPS, VA, yada, 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 your, your price is really gonna vary. Now, talking about the ones I was showing here, starting off with the LG, it's the LG 27GL83A monitor, Names are just ridiculous. They got to really shorten them down a bit, you know? Anyways, that LG is running around 379 So 380 bucks for that LG right there, which is a fantastic monitor, okay? But anyways, 27-inch, 1440p, 380 Okay, let's go over to the BenQ, which is a 32-inch, 165 hertz, and it's actually a VA panel. So it's saying one millisecond, but I believe it's up into the twos or threes I, or something like that with the NPRT. So you got to watch out with VA. Anyways, we're not going that route. We're focusing on size here, right? I'm drifting all over. So the BenQ 32 inch, 165 Hertz is 599, 600 bucks. That's on sale, by the way. Regular MSRP is $700. So you're looking at that price increase right there, right? We went from like 400 bucks up to 700 bucks MSRP, right? Going with that bigger size. Of course, you're getting 165 Hertz and stuff. V8, we can sit here and talk about that all day, but size to size, right? Now, the other interesting topic going to the one that I like the best right here, 34 inch, 144 hertz, IPS, 1440p, it's just got the whole caboots right here, you know what I mean? This guy's a thousand dollars. And no joke, like, is it packing the specs? Is it packing the performance? Yeah, it is, but we can't deny that's expensive. A thousand dollar monitor is an investment. So that's where you, you can kind of sum it up, right? What do you want? What do you need? What are you going to primarily use? That's how much money you should really spend, you know what I mean? And then kind of break down the specs. A couple of things I want to tell you right here is, again, if you play competitive, don't go above 27 inch. If you like story games, I would recommend you trying an ultra wide because it's a whole different experience. Number one, of all these monitors summed up, go 1440p. Trust me. 1080p is like Yo, 1080p just shouldn't exist anymore. I know the price is different. I don't want to sound like a snob or anything like that, but when you go 1440p, it could be one of the best 
gaming upgrades that you've experienced. Of course, your GPU and everything has got to be able to push it, but with any of these sizes, 1440p is game changing and you will never be able to go back to 1080p. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I helped you out one way or another as well. If I did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.